Howdy guys, it's Joe here, and today we're playing some Marissa on the BTR. You know, she just barely got some buffs that are actually pretty nice buffs in my own opinion. Uh, that makes it that uh, bullets move a little bit faster, which is kind of nice. Um, but the main good one is that now when you press your E, it's much bigger. Like, it's even bigger than a Ryan shield, I think. Maybe, maybe not, but it's very nice, and it goes around the edges a lot. I think it's actually a huge buff, um, and has 900 shields, so that's not way too bad itself. She'll probably be played with, like, D.Va or something, just in case, you know, to get a little bit of extra burst damage away from her shield. But overall, it's a good change that I think should allow for people like Drunkrat to hide behind it a bit better. You know, people like Soldier to hide behind a little bit better. Maybe even Hanzo. Um, any of those far-ranging pushing characters. I'd still say maybe, um, like, Reaper's better with someone uh, like D.Va, Zarya, or someone like Reinhardt even. Uh, because, of course, you can't move the shield. I mean, you put it up, and I guess they can play around it. But the shield goes down because it doesn't have that much HP. Kind of screwing over your team. <laughs> um, but, you know, I guess we're going to have to see with that. And, <laughs> got him. Of course, we have no healers because, you know, we're, we're playing on the PTR. But it doesn't really matter way too much. Uh, one thing that's really annoying. Ah, uh, you piece of garbage. Um, is the simple fact that, uh, this, oh, let me get that. That PTR has 13 minute wait queues. So, I, I waited 13 minutes to get into a single game. So let's hope that we actually win this one, even if we don't win. I, I hope that I can get at least a little bit of damage out. Mainly all that I'm going to be doing though is just hoping my team does well and just shooting straight forward. Uh, of course, this character, you can do some nice tracking, and I feel like her bullets are a lot easier to track now. They're pretty dumb before. I mean, they're still pretty hard to track. Let's put that over there and see if we can... Uh, come on, get, I need my right click to save this guy. I can't do much. Whatever. Um, <laughs> let's just try to drag the Widow out of there, I guess. Yeah, that doesn't work. Try to put this back down. I don't know exactly. We can just kind of wait here and see if anything will work for us. I guess I'll body block it for a second because we don't have our shield up. And if you remember, there is no healing, so body blocking is not a good plan. See if I can get a little bit of healing off the health pack. And then pull everyone right next to each other. That's a really good thing with Junkrat. Come on, Junkrat. No, okay. He, he didn't get them. Um, but yeah, that's a cool thing I like about this. Um, with the Junkrat Arisa synergy, especially with the new update. For counter dive, if you can get a lot of people close to each other, and you go for that, you bring them all next to each other, jump at, shoot, shift, shoot, shift. And it works as a really great combo. It overall makes it so it's kind of hard to deal with in general. Um, yeah, that, that's something that, I've, that I think is pretty cool. Um, some other random thing that's going on lately. Let me put this thing down. Um, so I gotta, <laughs> I gotta go on a hike in, in like 10 hours, uh, like a 14 mile hike, whatever. For some reason, I feel like no matter what, whenever you go outside, People are always like, oh, that must be so fun, you know, going outside, that's that's where all the fun is at. But then I just like, I just have more fun staying inside playing Overwatch. I don't know, I, do you guys ever have that feeling? I don't know. I feel like just everybody always wants you to go outside. And this is really annoying because we aren't on defense, so we can't get that auto heal from the car. That's too bad for us, and we still don't have a support. Yeah, that, that kind of really sucks. I'm going to get pulled in. Shoot. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, that's that's not good for us. Oh, I really wish that we could just actually get in there and actually have a team for a little bit. We were doing really well in the first point for a second, but I'm going to say overall, defense on PTR is almost always really jank because your team just dips out of there. Um, as well with that, I guess, if you want to check it out, I have a playlist of all the gameplay videos. At the top of the screen should be at the beginning of the video or right now or whatever. Just click on the little card uh, button. And you'll be able to find that, and that, you know, you can find my opinions of all the buffs. So if you miss any of them, I like the Junkrat one, which is probably what most people want to hear about. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's where you can find that. No one's going to touch the point. We do have another tank. I'm kind of surprised he's not going on the point. Um, because he's, he's Roadhog. He has, he has the healing now. Okay, whatever. Um, I think it'd be kind of cool if actually when uh, Risa used her, uh, her shift, it would heal like 50 or 100 armor or something like that, you know, like make her armor come back a little bit. I guess that might, actually, I don't think that would be way too strong actually because she's not, she hasn't been that good of a character for a long time, but still, um, that could be something that was kind of cool. And now we have Zen, that's nice. Hopefully Zen can just win us this match by himself. The players with the most supports usually can actually just clutch it out, and we have a lot of picks right here. Unfortunately, I can't reactivate that, and where in the world is the Sombra? Okay, let's try to follow her. Um, lately, also, I've been playing a ton of Zen. Did that grab her? Nah. Let's just, let's just wait right here and see if I can get a, put my shield down there. Come on. Come on, Sombra. 
<laughs> Got him. Oh, but yeah, I've actually been playing a ton of Zen. I, I actually kind of want to play a little bit of Orisa, because, I mean, Orisa's pretty fun. And after the PTR bus, I think the meta will change enough where she might be pretty good slash usable. Because before, let's be real, Orisa, almost unusable, probably as bad as Hog. Um, well, no, I wouldn't say that, but, you know, pretty bad. Uh, like, on offense, I'd say probably the worst tank. On defense, um, a lot better than Hog, I'd say, but still not that great. I think after these changes, she might actually be somewhat good. Um, and a pick that you can actually go for, which would be nice, because I always like a little bit more tank diversity. Of course, Arisa's always been kind of a jank tank. Uh, she's, you know, kind of boring as far as tank goes. She's she's not way too unique. Um, with that said, I, I think she's cool, and I think especially as they keep buffing her up and keep making her more of an anchor tank, and maybe just a slightly more different. Um, I don't know, it could be something that's nice. One thing that I kind of dislike, though, is that with all the Arisa changes... Oh, come on. Um, with all the Arisa changes, not the Arisa changes, with all the new character changes, it seems like they're just adding more damage reduction, like with Hog. That just kind of makes Arisa's own damage reduction, which was kind of cool. It was like the thing that she had. She had the damage reduction. Um, I need to start actually trying to aim more. Um, it kind of makes it like, well, now like, more people have damage reduction. It's, it's not really her own little thing. Like, every character in the game has their own little thing for the most part, but Arisa doesn't really have a thing right now. So I'm stretching my hand hips a little bit. She just kind of, like, exists uh, for the most part right now, which, I mean, it isn't, isn't that bad. Also, I keep wasting my right click on that guy <laughs> as he's um, making himself invincible, so kind of useless. Um, but, yeah, it's just, like, I don't really know what she does now other than, like, a lot of good anchor tanking at a decently far range. Um, it, it's kind of easy to dive her also, I guess, is a problem. Like, you think if you're an anchor, anchor tank... Um, you think that maybe, you know, you can block a lot of damage, but if people get right next to you, you can do something about it. Uh, for the most part, if people get next to you, uh, you can just <laughs> shoot them and hope for the best. I don't know how they could fix that, other than, like, doing some really stupid broker thing, like, oh, your right click now does a burst damage or something like that, depending on how far away you are. Again, I, I don't really have a solution other than, you know, a slight kit rework. Do we still have a support? Yeah, we do. Can I get some healer, man? <laughs> okay, whatever. Where is that support? Oh, he died, that's why. Okay, never mind. No no salt for me. Oh, well, I guess he's AFK. Can I road? <laughs> Please. Please keep playing support, man. We need you on support. I can't actually wait to try this guy out, or I guess the girl out, though, on um, you know, the actual live server on competitive. So, oh, shoot. Sorry, I almost just killed our Zen. So I can't wait to actually show that off and see how that works. I know that, you know, watching PTR isn't, like, as fun for the most part as watching, you know, live competitive gameplay. Uh, but, you know, I, I just, I still like watching buffs sweat when they come out a little bit more than, like, waiting a week to two weeks to three weeks to an entire month for the new season. Come on, fall in the hole. Ah, shoot. Dang it. <laughs> come on, that's very close. Push around the side. I guess the problem is that, oh, this is a problem that I, I feel like nobody really talks about. And that only happens when you're when you're talking to yourself or doing YouTube or whatever. It's super hard to hear like footsteps. It's super hard to like listen to your teammates' callouts and all that stuff. So I feel like often it makes you play not too much worse because you still have the visual and the you know somewhat audio and all that um, information and you know your general background knowledge. But it does make you always play a little bit worse, and I, I feel like it's kind of hard because you're like you know I'm not that bad normally. I mean, kind of that bad, but uh, you know I don't know. Maybe that's just me who kind of gets that feeling. But it, it shouldn't matter way too much. I think we can actually win this point. After we got this Zen, as you see, I've been at nearly 100% HP this entire time, and I should probably put my E a little bit closer. Oh, Arisa's E is actually <laughs> really good now. Uh, I'm not going to lie about that. And her damage is actually somewhat high as well. A uh, thing I was kind of confused about <laughs> when Arisa first came out is why they nerfed her damage. One, originally she came out and was one of the worst heroes in the game as far as win rates. She, like, was pretty bad. Everyone on the PTR thought she was pretty bad. And then they're like, yeah, you know what? Pretty bad character. Let's just make her make her worse. And I'm like, okay. You know, I guess you'll do whatever you want to, game. You can... You be you. As they want to say. And they... Okay, they're not anything. Oh, shit. I mean, I guess I could put my ult down. No, that was a wasted ult. <laughs> I mean, I guess if Roadhog gets a hook or something now. Yeah. Okay. Good job, Genji. Genji is, like, so good on, um, maps where just, not maps, on game modes where just nobody really thinks about him being there. Everybody's just like, huh. Uh, like,
like PTR or like quick play. Just nobody really focuses the Genji away too much, so you can just honestly run rampant. That's with all the supports. Not all the supports, all the flankers. I guess all the supports too. Supports are maximum broken in uh, this game mode. <laughs> like, if you have a support, one support in a, you know, whatever it is, quick play, you're essentially guaranteed to win that quick play match if the enemy team doesn't have one. Offense, defense, maybe not guaranteed, but very close to it. And that guy just ate my stuff. Is it garbage? Oh, um, Marissa does actually do okay against Gigo for the most part, which is also kind of nice. Uh, except for if your healer's gone. What are you doing? Oh, I guess he's right there. He wouldn't have done much more. Hmm. There you go with right there. Let's see if we can just finally push this off, though. We're, s we're so close to the end. Come on. Believe in yourself, team. And you can do it all. Yep. All you have to do is just do a little bit of anime. Be a little bit of a weeb. How did that go over there? Just throw around dead people's bodies. It didn't work. But yeah, there you go. There's a bit of a Rissa. We got the win. Defense last point on this point is actually really hard to win with without a support on your team. I guess they eventually... Wait, they had a Mercy the whole time? I never saw a res, but whatever. Uh, even with a support, I guess it's still a pretty hard point. But I think that a Rissa is probably a pick that you can actually go for right now. Uh, beforehand, I would have said, no, don't pick a Rissa. She's pretty bad in most situations, except for maybe some jank Torbarissa defense, which is even better now, by the way. Um, but now you can pick her almost any time. Um, at least, probably not King of the Hill at all. That's that's probably a terrible idea. Um, but on Payload and some 2CP maps, I think those will work. For the most part, mostly on defense. Maybe someone on offense, though. If you have a really weird, like, Junkrat, Widow, Poke, Pick, Comp, maybe. Maybe that'll work. In general, defense, though, will be a little bit easier for you. Anyways, as always, guys, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like and tell me what you want me to play for the next video. And as always, guys, have a wonderful day.